Describe a procedure that would produce a random sampling in the following situation. Explain why your procedure will produce a random sampling. If your school is trying to determine if a rugby school should, rugby, if rugby should be a school sport, the principal wants students' opinion. Well, here's what you should do. Maybe you would just ask people randomly. You're not looking for anyone specific, tall, small, Blonde, not blonde. You know what I'm saying? You just ask anyone, anywhere. Very random. Or you could do a systematic random sampling like we did on the last example. You could say, I'm going to ask every fifth person that walks into the lunchroom if they think we should have a rugby team. Bam. Describe a procedure that would produce a random sampling in the following situations. And we'll explain why it is a random sampling's. Your school is trying to determine if rugby should be a school sport. The principal wants the student's opinion. Well, you could do a systematic uh, random sampling, like the previous problem where you ask every 15th student who walks in the door, or you could ask every 5th student, whatever. It's systematic that way. Or you could just go around the halls and ra ask people randomly, not based on any features or any, anything, just randomly. And then it would be a random sampling. You could ask them their opinion on rugby.